Chief Executive Officer of Company Polar Bear. Hi, my name's Robert Freidler and I'm the Vice President of Manufacturing and Design of the Company Polar Bear. Hi, my name is Amy Estrada. I'm the Chief Operations Officer of Polar Bears. Hi, my name is Nina Kapadia. I'm the Vice President of Marketing Sales of Polar Bears. Hi, my name is Malcolm Ross and I'm the Chief Financial Officer of Polar Bears. So before we begin, our Chief Financial Officer would like to share some images with you guys. So the red line represents what the polar ice caps were in just 1979, and obviously the white represents what they are today. And that's more than a 20% loss in the ice caps. Um, these are projections of what the ice caps were in 1885, 1985, and the projections are to what they will be in 2085, if things continue to do. And uh, this is exactly what we're trying to avoid. So. Um, uh, we're polar bears, and our slogan is, It's ice nice to help. help. <laughs> so, and I'm now passing it on to our chief executive officer, Mr. So, our product appeals to those who really like stuffed animals, and appeals to those who really like to donate to charity that are in need of you guys' help. As you guys can see, our product is a 9-inch stuffed polar bear, which comes with a tag that describes our philanthropy. We are donating 10% to the Polar Bear International, why did we come up with this idea? So the reason why we came up with this idea was because a lot of people are not aware of what, what, our, our glo what global warming is causing. Polar bear ice caps are melting and polar bears are going extinct and that's the reason why we came up with this idea. How are we better from other stuff? Animals. We are better because when you guys buy our product, you guys should know that you guys are helping the real life polar bear. Also, you got when well, you guys buy our, our product, you guys you can you guys can my bad, you guys can give it to someone as a gift, and we are donating ten percent to for the branch national, and now I'll be passing it down to Robert Kreitler. For our manufacture process, we will be purchasing our nine-inch stuffed polar bear online at www.msteddybear.com, and we will be attaching a card that has our philanthropy that we will be getting from vistaprint.com. And I will now be passing it down to Amy Estrada. Okay, so our three main competitors are Toys R Us and other retailers, World Wildlife Fund, and also eBay Online. So <coughs> our competitors disadvantages are uh, Toys R Us and other retailers are, they, they are well known and also they will, um, they, they have many stores and they have a great variety. For uh, World Wildlife Fund, they, um, they have a charity donation and also they have, they're well known. eBay Online is uh, well known and they all have internet sales. So our competitors' disadvantages are Toys R Us and other retailers are, they, they, don't chari they don't have charity donations and also they um, they have um, they have they don't have charity donations and also they don't um, they have higher prices and World Wildlife Fund charges fifty dollars for a minimum of three stuffed animals and they will charge fifteen dollars per month a minimum and um, for eBay online. For they will be, uh, they only order online, and they um, have no charity donation and generally higher prices. So our company uh, um, advantages are, we will be selling personally, and also we will be attaching a tag that says our philanthropy and how to contact us, and we will be donating 10% to PBI Polar Bear International. Now I'll be pa passing it on to Mina Kapadia. <coughs> So this is our card, and it includes our company name, our description, our contact email, a quote from PBI, and our promotion. It's the same card that we handed off to you. Um, so our primary target market is ages 13 through 18, and we got this from survey results, which we took in um, our school, Super High School. Our secondary target market is parents, because they're most likely to buy polar bears for <coughs> their children. So this is our survey results, and as you can see, 7 out of 10 people said they would like to buy our product. So
So we are selling our product in build selling events um, at school and outside of school. So our, our promotional, our promotion tactics are Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So with Facebook and Twitter, we have put, put up a page where we post weekly updates on our product. And with Instagram, we post weekly pictures of our product. So this is an example of our Facebook page. So our philanthropy is that we donate 10% to PBI or Polar Bears International, and they help find homes for Polar Bears, raise awareness for awareness of their struggle, and help Polar Bears environments better. Okay. Um, our break-even point is actually at 57 units. Um, uh, Cogs, two dollars and fifteen cents for the bear from msteadybear.com, and five cents for the band and the card, <coughs> equaling two dollars and twenty cents per unit. Um, so these are just the prices. Toys R Us has anywhere from twelve to forty dollars for their uh, stuffed animals. Uh, eBay sells theirs fifteen dollars and up. The WWF fifty dollar minimum and monthly fees, but. Um, we have eight dollars as our selling price, which is a pretty substantial difference. Gross profit per unit, um, selling price eight dollars. Um, the cost per unit is two twenty, and then with our eighty cents of uh, philanthropy, um, our gross profit per unit is five dollars. These are our sales projections. As you can see, they go up in December and February. December, because we're very gift oriented, it's the holidays, obviously. Um, in February, Valentine's Day, and February 27th is International Polar Bear Day. Um, this is our executive timeline. In October, we're going to be um, picked by the venture capitalists. In November, we're going to get money for our product. December is the holiday um, build bazaar. Um, January, we're going to order more <coughs> stuffed uh, polar bears from MS Teddy Bear. Um, in February and March, we're going to sell at the school and anywhere else that we may be selling. And then at May, we're going to be selling here in one year from now. Um, some exciting news. Uh, our VPMD, Robert Kreidler, sent an email to uh, the PBI, the, f the foundation we're donating to. And they actually responded and said that they uh, support our idea and would like to help us in any way possible. Um, thank you for your time, and I'll take questions. Basically, the the appeal is you're, you're sort of taking a pre-manufactured product and distributing it um, by attaching a philanthropy um, sort of um, mission to it. So, is, is, do you, have you done any market tests around what is? So, if I'm a consumer and I really want to help the polar bears, I could just give my money to the polar bear organization more sort of efficiently, and if I want a teddy bear, I can buy one. So have you done any efficiency, have you done any understanding of what is motivating your customer to buy your product? Actually, this is a question to any of you. What is motivating your customer to buy your product? Is it the is it the philanthropy angle, or is it the, the toy? And in either case, why will they not sort of do the, the more efficient version of that? Because, um, like, one of the 
So one of the foundations asks for $15 monthly, and um, a lot of people don't have that kind of money to give away, and so we're trying to give something back, and like, um, so you don't have to pay a lot of money back. And we're giving it forward. Um, if I could add to that, um, also, uh, children usually can't um, really just run up to the WWF and give money, so this will, uh, they'll get a toy kind of the deal, and they'll also be taught about the Florida struggle. Have you guys thought of other things that you could add kind of to the package to make it more unique? Like maybe some more information about the ice caps. And I thought that was very compelling in the beginning, the way that you kind of communicated the importance of it. So the reason why we don't want to add too much to the fair is that it could maybe hurt the environment in some way. We thought about packaging for the polar bear, and that could be kind of harmful for the habitat 